My name is Jim Houtman. I'm a director of Forest Health and uh, for the Butte County Fire Safety Council. We're in Cohasset, California today, uh, which was heavily impacted by the uh, park fire. Uh, we're 30 days after the start of the park fire, and uh, we, we're up here with our staff today, had a staff meeting to talk about some of the things we learned uh, and how we're going to move forward to help the community. Uh, the unique thing about the park fire in Cohasset itself is that there's about a little over 700 acre green island in the middle of a 430,000 acre fire, which is pretty unheard of. Uh, and part of it is a collaboration of a lot of different people doing a lot of different things to try to help the community out. Uh, we're on Maple Creek Ranch today, uh, which is part of the, uh, owned by the Hall family. Uh, they started the project about five or six years ago with the NRCS equipped grant to do some mastication and other work up here. Uh, the Fire Safe Council also at the same time had a roadside evacuation grant we kind of linked up together and did some mastication or roadside fuel reduction work. We gained the trust of the community. And since then we've done a lot of other grants up here uh, at the same time. Uh, we've done roadside fuel reduction, defensible space, uh, roadside uh, on driveways and secondary roads. We've also done uh, helped uh, with some prescribed burn stuff with the uh, prescribed burn association with the RCD. A lot of other organizations have come up and trained up here as well. It's a really good uh, training site and it's a really good forest to train in. Unfortunately, uh, it was heavily impacted by the park fire, but the fact that uh, there is a green island, I, I think would attribute to a lot of the work that we've done up here. It gave firefighters a place to uh, put in uh, fuel reduction work, uh, to have dozers, uh, air tankers to make drops, firefighters to do um, uh, defensible space around people's homes to help protect them um, when the fire came through. I'll point out some of the areas that we did initial work. Uh, this is a map of Cohasset, uh, the green island here. This is a, a moisture map of the area. Anything green is moisture. The purple is uh, is uh, has been impacted by the fire. All the blue dots are home that survived. All the red dots are home that did not survive. Uh, our initial project up here uh, with what Ron was doing, uh, was doing some mastication in this area and also on the Maple Creek Ranch down in this area. Uh, we've uh, also did fuel uh, roadside evacuation routes on parts of Cohasset Road, which run up here, Mud Creek Road, which come across the top, and then ties into Vilas Road, which is a dirt road that comes in all the way and ties back into Cohasset Road here. That was the initial project. Uh, we did some defensible space and chipping at this on the same time as that. And then uh, we did um, started again with this evacuation route um, with some of these side roads. All these other side roads that come off of here, we did uh, 35 feet on both sides of the roads. We did uh, 15 feet on the driveways to protect us, the people getting in and out. And then a lot of these homes where you see these purple dots or purple triangles, I think that's where we did the defensible space work that way. So we've done a lot of different work up here. Um, and and it's, it really did make a difference. All these other uh, colors in here are different projects. This was mastication. This was mastication. Uh, this is a mastication project. Some of these have been burned before uh, with prescribed fire. Uh, there's some prescribed fire that happened out here with some mastication. So we really tried to be, if there was a, a topo map, you would see there's a ridge that, that runs right if this is a, um, Cohasset Ridge right, that runs right up and through here. So we're trying to tie all these parcels together. Off the map down here is a 600 acre prescribed fire hap that happened uh, with Cal Fire that we assisted in getting prepped for the fire. Uh, we were also um, getting ready to do a project uh, out on this Musty Buck Ridge. You can see some of this out here, some of the work that already had been done. Uh, we were planning on doing some mastication all the way up here. This is Ponderosa Road. We're going to do some fuel reduction work along there to carry into this musty road to try to compartmentalize and protect the community of Cohasset in case of a fire. Uh, in, in the works, uh, and actually uh, the Monday after the fire started, we had another large project of mastication that was supposed to happen in this area up here on Cohasset Loop. If you look at this, uh, this is Tehama County up here. There's a large, uh, this is, as, the top, as the ridge comes up, there's a drainage down here, and then it comes up. Uh, there's a drainage here. One of the first things we did was try to tie these roads into the drainage edge so that firefighters can compartmentalize this. Then we we're putting eyebrows on the community. We had this mastication project that was coming up here and down in this area. This is a large open area in here. And then the secondary project that we were getting landowners signed up for was to do uh, another uh, biomass removal and mastication project out on this musty bug or uh, Man and Nolta Ridge out here. 
So we're trying to put all these place things in place. Um, unfortunately, um, these projects, this, this will still happen as mastication. It's about 160 acres out there. And this now, uh, we're turning our grant to do uh, hazard tree removal. Uh, we'll do some um, emergency timber harvest, some pile burning, mastication, get it prepped, uh, do water, bar, water bars and um, slash packing and chips for erosion control, and then get it ready for planting in a couple of years probably. Uh, after we replant it, we'll also do um, vegetation management to make sure no uh, invasives come up and, and give the trees a healthy uh, chance of growing and, and creating a forest again.